Good afternoon, everybody. Even before we start, let me first thank all of you for coming out today and celebrating this afternoon with us. It's, it's a great opportunity and I think it's a great honor for us to spend some time with you. Uh, I'll introduce my team, my friends, my colleagues first and then we'll go ahead with uh, how the evening is, of the afternoon is going to roll further. So we have with us Dr. K.R. Bala Krishnan. Dr. Bala is the chairman for the Heart and Lung Transplant Program at MGM Healthcare. One of the pioneers in cardiac surgeries and lung surgeries, I think under his belt, he has the maximum number of transplants that anybody has done in the country. Um, and again, pediatric cardiac surgeries, valvular surgeries, you name it and he has done it, starting from the simplest to the most complex of the surgeries that are known to mankind. We have Dr. Suresh Rao with us, who is the head for critical care cardiac anesthesia and the co-director for the Heart and Lung Transplant Unit as well. Dr. Suresh Rao has had a long journey with Dr. Bala and I think this is one stellar team which has made all this work possible. We have Dr. Ravi Kumar with us. So Dr. Ravi Kumar is probably, we can, I can take a stab at him and yes, say that he is the first transplant cardiologist into the country. He was the first cardiologist who dedicated his career into giving up angioplasties and angiographies and following up patients with heart failure. A branch which was not well known at the time when he started off and helping them out towards transplant, towards advanced therapies which can make a lot of difference in their life once medical therapy fails. Accompanying them is our newest member of the team, Dr. Deepika. So she is a consultant in transplant pulmonology and part of my team. I am Dr. Apar Jindal. I am the head of the lung transplant program and the chairman for the pulmonary services at MGM Healthcare. So me and Deepika, we work as a team. Along with us, it is a great privilege and honor to have two more dignified personalities with us. Dr. Merchant, who is again a senior consultant cardiologist based out of Bombay. So has a huge and wise experience of handling all sorts of cardiac issues, especially uh, with special interest in heart failure. And of course, my dear friend, Dr. Samir Gupta. So Samir is at Metro Hospitals and at Unkal Hospitals, Delhi and uh, Gurgaon and Noida. And of course, he has been a big strength to the team. We work in a partnership, we work together wherein we help, we try to help most of the cases which are being treated by Samir and his colleagues at Metro Hospitals. And whenever there is a need for a failure management, we, the MGM team comes into the picture and try to do the best for the patient. Having gone with the introductions, what is the need for this in interaction that we have planned for the today? So it's not just to highlight that we have done a huge number of cases, we have done more than 500 transplants when we talk about heart and lung transplants put together. We are one of the biggest programs, the top 1% program across the world and uh, in Asian countries. The, sole program in the country doing double digits of heart and lung transplants every month. But yes, more importantly, we want to highlight the importance of understanding what the patient goes through when the patient is suffering from a failing condition, whether it is a failing heart, whether it is a failing lung. It's not like an infection. It's not like any other disease because it is a slow process. It is an excruciating, it's a painful process that the patient will undergo not for a day, not for a week, but for months and for years together. And once they come to a point where medical therapy fails them, the only option available then is transplant. So how the patient goes through that kind, how we can sensitize more and more people taking your examples and it is so fortunate that so many of our patients are here today to support our endeavor. And it is their story that we want um, to popularize, that we want to spread across into the community and sensitize more patients who might need these kind of therapies, who can approach their doctors for this further. So we will talk a little bit about, we will present some cases, we will talk about a few cases and also we will talk a little bit about organ donations. See, everything fails. Every transplant surgery would fail if there is no organ available. There is a good number of patients who are waiting. 
but there are not that many organs which are available. So, how does one become an organ donor? Why should one become an organ donor? And how we can help sensitize this information? How we can help promote this information that more and more people should come forward in their time of grief to promote organ donation? We're going to talk about that. And then I think the major part of the meeting would be we want our media colleagues to interact with our patients, listen to their stories by you know, directly from the patient's mouth, what they went through, how they went through, how the surgeries have helped them, how the treatment has helped them, and how they are doing well now, starting from a period of a few months to a period of decades. We have all ranges of patients available over here, and you can interact with them. So, major part of the event would be a question-answer session. So, to take it forward, I invite firstly Dr. K. R. Balakrishnan to talk about the program and most importantly, to talk about the importance of organ donation in the country. Dr. Ba. Namaskar, thank you, good afternoon. Um, so, organ donation and um, cadaver transplants actually started in India in 1994. But till about a decade ago, um, there was not much progress. Thus, all that organ donation as a faculty mostly uh, southern states mein hota tha. or when an organ was available there was no recipient when there was a recipient there was no organ donation and distribution of organs was chaotic so actually Tamil Nadu was one of the first states which formally um, uh, formalized this distribution of organs so the South Pele journey shuru hua, when large number of uh, heart transplants started humne shuru kiya tha and one of the reasons, as Dr. Appar Jindal mentioned for this meeting, is to highlight that uh, the the what have been the outcomes. So, the transplant is advised when the future is bleak, when the uh, medical treatment has failed, and most of these patients had, did not even have a few months to live. So, if you think about that, we also started this journey when we started this journey. We didn't know how many years it will be going to transplant. Because we had the world experience, but in India there are different problems. Here the air is not clean, here the water is bad, here the tuberculosis is common, infections are common. Uh, people live in rural areas, access to medical care is not good. But uh, we started this not knowing how this will pan out in terms of long term outcomes. Thus, all, pandras, all, ikitis, all, that it normal was a thing. But one good thing happened is the internet revolution started around the same time. Uh, our mobile phones and mobile internet and internet became available. So, Follow-up became much easier. Job uh, man, uh, 1990s and all that follow-up was impossible. Yet not even phone calls were possible, as you know. So if somebody was in uh, in Sholapur or Bulandshahar or Balabgar or in some rural Assam, if they became sick, there was no way of contacting doctors or we, we had no way of knowing what is happening. Immunosuppressive drugs were not available and blood tests to monitor immunosuppression. Ashkar, the labs come to your house, take the sample and send by WhatsApp the outcomes to everyone so it's easy to treat. So things fell into place or I'm very happy to say, in fact, uh, Arora Saben, so he was a, he's completed over 10 years and he, he came to us from Delhi from the uh, ICU in one of the major hospitals here. As all of us have told them, they have a few weeks left in their lives. And he's hale and hearty, back to normal. I still remember his, his wife and his son. They were waiting for a long time for a novel. So, so many of these patients are here. And we are actually surprised, we've also published this, that our 10 years survival rates are actually as good, if not better than what is published internationally. So, when we started this, हमें ये पता नहीं था कि हमारे लॉन्ग टर्म रिजल्ट्स एक ये रिजल्ट के बारे में अगर आप सोचोगे देर आर टू काइंड्स ऑफ रिजल्ट्स वन इज इमीडिएट आउटकम्स कि ऑपरेशन हुआ सक्सेस हुआ घर चलाए गए दूसरी बात ये ट्रांसप्लांट में 
हमें सोचना पड़ेगा ये दस साल पंद्रह साल ये बिल्कुल नॉर्मल हो जाएंगे कि नहीं और उसमें सर्जरी के अलावा बहुत से आप बहुत से बाकी चीज़ें इम्पोर्टेंट हो जाती हैं हाउ केयरफुली यू कैन फॉलो अप पेशेंट हाउ केयरफुली ड्रग लेवल्स कैन बी मॉनिटर लैब रिजल्ट दे पेशेंट अपने हार्ट का कितना ख्याल रखते हैं एंड सो एवरीथिंग मैटर्स सो आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू वन ऑफ द रीजन वी होल्डिंग दिस इज वी नाउ हैव टेन ईयर आउटकम्स ऑफ आवर ट्रांसप्लांट्स and uh, especially if they are uh, come to us in good condition over 70% of these patients are doing normal at 70 at, at 10 years which is actually even better than what is published in international literature so aaj ke zamane mein hum ye ummeed kar sakte hain ki 20 se 25 saal tak ye normal rahenge aur 25 saal agar aapka umar hai 50 koi kam nahi aur har roz tarakkiyan ho rahi hain har roz naye inventions aa rahe hain har roz न्यू ड्रग्स आर कमिंग सो दिस इज ओनली गोइंग टू इम्प्रूव सो ये हमारा ये सोचना है कि ये जो इनको फायदा हुआ है ये इसी कारण हुआ है क्योंकि और किसी इंसान ने अपने मरते वक्त अपना अंग दान किया है सो दैट लार्ज हार्टेडनेस ऑफ अ डोनर शुड नॉट बी फॉर गॉट किस ऐसा कोई वजह है कि फॉर सम रीजन इन नॉर्थन इंडिया ऑर्गन डोनेशन आर नॉट एज कॉमन एज इज हैपनिंग इन इन द सदर्न पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया हमारे यहाँ आज तो एक्चुअली एवरी डे वी हैव अ डोनर वर्चुअली एवरी डे इनफैक्ट इसकी वजह से हम महीने में लास्ट मंथ वी डिड फोर्टीन ट्रांसप्लांट्स तो इज टू लार्ज एक्सटेंड इट इज एजुकेशन एंड अवेयरनेस क्योंकि हम जब मर जाते हैं हमारे यहाँ किसी के काम नहीं आते हम वो भी खास तौर पे हमारे समुदाय में हम तो जला देते हैं तो उससे किसको क्या फ़ायदा होता है अगर इसकी वजह से और कोई इंसान पंद्रह बीस साल नॉर्मल रह सके और अपने फैमिली के साथ जिंदगी बिता सके उससे अच्छा दान क्या हो सकता है तो हमारा ये अवेयरनेस क्रिएट करने का भी एक मकसद था ये मीटिंग होल्ड करने के लिए बट इट इज़ आल्सो टू स्प्रेड होप दैट बिकॉज ऑफ द एक्सलेंट आउटकम्स ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेंस इंक्रीजिंगली मोर एंड मोर स्टेट गवर्नमेंट्स स्टार्टेड फंडिंग मैं मुझे दिल्ली गवर्नमेंट के बारे में पता नहीं अगर ट्रांसप्लांट के लिए पैसा देते हैं कि नहीं सेटली हमारे बहुत कर्नाटक का तमिलनाडु एंड आंध्र प्रदेश जाते हैं हार्ट ट्रांसप्लांट के लिए आई थिंक सोलह नहीं तो सत्रह लाख मिलता है और लंग के लिए बाईस से पच्चीस लाख मिलता है तो ये रकम कोई कम नहीं है पंद्रह सोलह साल लाख तो कोई और हम एक ट्रस्ट चलाते हैं कई लोग यहाँ पर हैं जिसको ट्रस्ट से पैदा हुआ होगा क्योंकि हम हमारा ये मानना है कि कोई अगर फैमिली नहीं तो कोई इंसान मरते वक्त अपना अंग फ्री में देता है तो उसका लार्ज हार्टेडनेस हमें सब में बांटना चाहिए तो हमारे पास जो भी आते हैं अगर पैसा उनके पास कम रहता है ना बिल्कुल भी नहीं रहता हमने अपनी तरफ से पूरा मदद की है कई लोग हैं यहाँ पर जिनका ट्रांसप्लांट हुआ है तो उसको दे कैन टेस्टिफाई टू दैट फैक्ट दैट वेट कम्प्लीटली फंडेड सेवरल ऑपरेशन तो हम ये होप फैलाना चाहते हैं कि ये लंग और हार्ट के ऐसे डिजीजेस आज के ज़माने में हर एक डिजीज़ का ट्रीटमेंट है और वो भी कोविड के टाइम पे बहुत से लोग एपो में शिफ्ट हुए थे उसमें 50 से 60 परसेंट को बिल्कुल ठीक हो कि वापस जा पाए और ट्रांसप्लांट भी हो चुका है तो और तो वी वॉन्ट स्प्रेड अवेयरनेस अबाउट द पॉसिबिलिटीज ऑफ टोटल ट्रीटमेंट एंड ऑल्सो द फैक्ट दैट अंगदान के बारे में हमें अवेयरनेस uh, स्प्रेड करना चाहिए और विद लार्ज पॉपुलेशन हेयर इफ मोर एंड मोर पीपल कम टू डोनेट ऑर्गन्स लॉट मोर पीपल कैन बी सेव सो दिस इज द मेन मैसेज इन दिस मीटिंग थैंक यू वेरी मच so i i think without us talking a lot more i think i would invite some of the patients to come up and you know they can talk to you about them how their journey was how it started off with the problem how uh, how finally you know the consultation came in they underwent the transplant and how the life has been after that so i think the entire journey starting from the issue till the solution and further on how it goes is best told by the patients who faced it and sir is already standing up let me invite him to address you there <laughs> good afternoon i am purushottam arora from delhi i am now 69 years old 10 years back i was heart transplanted by our my godfathers the entire team 
sitting out here. I welcome them on first of all to our city of dreams in Delhi. A great welcome to all of them. And as Dr. Bala said, that uh, I was really on deathbed. In, I was in Fortis Escort in Delhi. It, it was like that. I used to come in the morning from the hospital and again I was pushed back to the hospital in the evening. And uh, I was totally given just a couple of days for time. But there was Dr. Aparna Jaswal, a very good doctor. And she was my moral booster. She uh, every time is, uh, uh, consulted me and said that no worry, no worry, you will definitely get well. And she literally boosted me and she encouraged me a lot. I really have great praise for her. I would like to thank her for her good praises and help. And then when I, uh, I, my son contacted the team in Chennai, in Fortis Malar, the Dr. Bala sent Dr. Ram from Chennai to Delhi to take me to hospital in Malar in by, by air. And he put the drip on me and we went by the air. And on the third day after in the ICU, I was taken out of the hospital and I was told that go and wait in the hotel for a transplant. And on the fateful day, the lovely day, that is 21st of May 2013, on that very morning, my son had come to Delhi on uh, for a marriage in my family. And in the afternoon, I met Dr. Suresh Rao in his chamber. And I was very much fed up. And I was literally crying and I literally told him that let my son come, I will go back. I am not going to wait anymore. I am fed up. I don't want any transplant. I am unable. He consoled me. He helped me. But I said no. I came shouting and I came to the hotel. The, throughout the day I had been shouting at my wife that I am fed up. I am fed up. My wife, she is my, my moral booster and she is my lovely partner. And she, <laughs> and she, she, she tolerated all my scoldings. But she kept page, had patience and she also boosted me, no worry, no worry, no worry, okay, let him come, let him come. And that very evening at 7 o'clock, I got a message from the hospital that the, um, I should come to the hospital for a transplant. And uh, then when I reached the hospital, I was told uh, for, for the attendance, my wife was there, and the team had said for the deposit. I'll tell you one great instance of a great gesture for in the medical hospital line. My, my son was in Delhi, I had no money. No deposit was there in the hospital and my, my wife told them that my son is not there and the, the accounts people, I uh, don't have money to deposit. Dr. Suresh Rao said, no worry, no, no need to deposit money, we'll take care of it. And they did the transplant here in Delhi, nobody will do anything to you for a single rupee. And they did it for lakhs of rupees in that. And in the night, my, my wife was only there there and Dr. Bala, she, she, when he saw her, he told his staff to provide her a room, a bed in his own personal chamber and look after her throughout the night. They are so great people and as Dr. Bala said for organ donation, I have already placed my and my, my wife's body and organs, all everything to the mankind for further after my death. And I am really grateful to this team and I place, always pray for the God, to the God that the donor who had donated his lovely heart to me, to his soul be rest in peace. And I am really grateful to, and I once again thank all of you for giving me a very lovely young life. I am very active. I work for 12 hours in a day. I used to tell Dr. Suresh, I will take a retired life after transplant. But I have become so young that now I work for 12 hours. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. And I think uh, going on to the other side, we've heard a heart story. Let's also hear a lung story. So Nidhi, why don't you come up and to talk to the... Please, Vinay. Uh, good afternoon. I think it's fine. So good afternoon, everyone. And thanks to doctors, all the doctors that are here. It has been long since we have spoken on any public platform. So we would you know, apologize for any pauses that we going to take. And uh, here's my wife. She has undergone a bilateral lung transplant under Dr. Appar for I think it's more than a year sir. Uh, yeah. On April 29th I think we have been. So it's not a what do you call it's a simple journey that we have had. So uh, we got married 10 years back uh, 2012 and uh, soon after marriage I think after two years we were uh, started having an issue like she cannot take a flight of stairs and if you want to go somewhere. so. Breathing becomes very difficult for us to happen and you know to lead a normal life that everyone is much believing in that time. When you get married you have dreams and you can you want to run and see the places that is not happening for us. So 
and uh, I think after three years we got conceived. Uh, we had a very beautiful baby, a girl. Her name is Anaisha. She is now six years old. So uh, by the time my wife was pregnant, uh, then again some issues pop up of the breathing. At that time we came to know about about our disease, which was uh, I think CTD, ILD CTD, something like that. It was it was diagnosed. So we were on oxygen. Uh, like it started with uh, 5 or 2 liters per day and it went on 10 and 15 liters even, even and uh, it was very difficult moment for us and we came in contact with Dr. Appa. Uh, his team, uh, when Dr. Appa has suggested us to go for uh, a transplant but we didn't take took that time very seriously because it was a very big decision for us to go for a transplant. We have exhausted like almost every opinion of the doctors that might have we might have come across be it teams or any other institution all the cosmologists every even the rheumatologist and i'm very sorry to say uh, none of you know uh, we were able to get any spite from any door wherever we go there were list of medications that been prescribed and uh, <coughs> as dr saab has said there were no medication that were available in india so we have got it some medication imported from us as well but we were not able to continue a normal uh, life. And then uh, Dr. Zapar's team suggested us to have a transplant. We were running on 2 litres of oxygen at that time per day. Our requirement just was very low. So since it was a very big decision, we were not able to make it. But then the situation got gotten worse and worse. And so finally we, able to, uh, we, were, we came to that state where a lung transplant was imminent. We were not able to delay it further. So, we went under him, things were, it took some time, almost like two or three months. It was not an easy journey for us, but it happened. So uh, now we are very grateful to the doctors who have come across to our life, especially the ones who have treated us. And, uh, anything, I think uh, it would be best uh, if you have any question for, not from the doctor or medical side, if anyone wants to ask uh, through our experience, I think that would be better rather than uh, telling everything. And, uh, Yes, maybe. I'd just like to add one thing that you know you have to be very uh, strong will powered. I was like, let me, I have a daughter, so let me avoid transplant till the time I can because you know outcomes are always not that great. But then when my daughter said, no, I don't want you know mom to be on oxygen, I want you off oxygen. Other moms are off oxygen, you know, for her it was like that time online classes. So she used to see other moms, you know, normal and without oxygen. So that shook me, that motivated me that even like with oxygen and on BiPAP maybe, you know, I would be not of any use to anyone for her, you know, she would be very sad to see me. So I made up my mind and then Dr. Jindal really helped, counseled, he assured and we just trusted him and he said, come to Chennai and I said, okay, we are coming. So I'm very thankful to him. It's a tough journey but with willpower, with support of everyone, best doctors, my husband yeah. supported and my daughter's <laughs> motivation and my parents. So I was able to come through. It's tough, but you can if you have the will. There has to be strong motivation. And, and I hope to live for as many as I can for my daughter to see her grow up. So that's my wish and I want all of your wishes and blessings. And thank you so much. And thanks to Dr. Jindal. He was very, uh, we were very motivated to listen to this gentleman say that he has lived for 10 years. So uh, we were hoping because I think I still remember your words. You said uh, she will live for another 5 or uh, 5 plus something. I think I am going to live for another 25 years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then you are going to give us some strength because we are having a. I am not 69. Yeah. I am not going to be over 10 years. That's it. That's the thing. Thank you so much. I think that is the spirit. Yeah. So it's just a number. So how many years somebody is going to live, nobody can say. So far for the exclusion from our older people. So I am young old. All is money. I had a heart transplant. I was uh, scared because of heart transplant, but my mom said uh, nothing will happen. But I said, uh, promise me, uh, you will say everything th uh, that uh, about the treatment, I will not lie. So she said, okay. 
Thank you, Dr. Bala and Dr. Suresh and Dr. Ravi. Good afternoon, everyone. First of all, thank you so much for having us uh, here. So as Sir said, it's a difficult decision. It's a long journey and I completely agree. My son was seven when he was diagnosed with cardiomyopathy and uh, the heart uh, was just 20% in the working stage. Uh, we were referred to um, Dr. Bala by Dr. Radhakrishnan here in Fortis, Okla. And um, I guess that was a turning point. You know, I had a word with Dr. Ravi and he said, you please come down here. And again, a lot of apprehensions. Again, this is a very, very tough decision whether to go about it or not. So I would like to put it on record that uh, as a parent, as a mother, obviously you leave no stone unturned. And we had to, uh, you know, just uh, we, you know, sent our reports, his reports to uh, Australia, Hong Kong, London, Singapore, US, everywhere. Spoke to a lot of doctors, but uh, I guess three of the doctors clearly said, "Don't move out of your country. It's the COVID time." That was 2021. And everyone purposely said that, you know, go meet Dr. Bala. So I'm sure, you know, he'll be able to uh, do wonders for you. So don't don't step out and you have somebody great there. So that's the kind of recognition that he has, you know, uh, globally. So then I remember I went to Chennai. So I guess there are three different stages which are very important. First is a pre-transplant wherein the attendants, the patient, everybody is in so much of pain that, you know, it's, it's very difficult. And I remember it was just one meeting away with Dr. Bala and uh, he just, you know, he held him tight and he said, uh, as a mother, I'm sure you're worried, don't get worried. He'll be playing IPL one day. So that was quite a relief. And every, every word, I guess, you know, coming from Dr. Bala was like a word coming from God. And it got so nicely registered in my mind and I was, you know, so comfortable after that that, you know, I was very sure that now my son will be all right. And that's when, you know, again, he's telling me that, you know, kind of assurance. He said, Mama, you will not lie to me about anything. I remember, like, you know, there were a lot of things, blood tests and, you know, scans and everything. And for a child, seven-year-old child, it's very difficult to go through all the process. So he said that, you know, please give me my time and I must thank the entire team of MGM also there, like, you know, the nurses, the, the entire staff, you know, uh, the laboratory people, they are so patient. They actually understand, you know, what a patient is going through. That is very, very important because, you know, as a family, we would understand what the, the family member as a patient is going through. But uh, for the doctors, nurses and everybody to understand this and feel that it's very important. So we felt that, you know, that was coming from each one of them. Then, uh, I guess the day when we, you know, had to go for a transplant, I remember the entire night Dr. Bala was, you know, he was kind of comforting me that everything will be all right, don't get worried. I still have to ask, sir, when do you sleep? I remember I was talking to him, I was talking to him till 4 o'clock in the morning and 11 o'clock I see him so, uh, you know, energetic and enthusiastic and, you know, all geared up uh, to go for this transplant and he said, we have a good heart, don't worry, he will be just all right, you know. So, that was one time it was got, you know, over with. And I have another magical personality here, Dr. Suresh Rao, I don't know what is so, so magical about this person again. Um, I, I have no words to you know explain uh, and express my gratitude to each one. And Dr. Suresh, I guess you know, is is been there since the time. It's been one and a half years. I don't remember any message being unanswered, or you know, any reminder that has to be sent to him to answer my query. He's he's so available. You know, any any wishes, any message to Dr. Bala, I think he doesn't take more than three minutes or four minutes. I have on record, you know, so he'll reply to you. So there are three stages, what we say is pre-transplant, transplant and post-transplant. And I, I can just assure each one of you who is going to be a recipient here that, you know, you are in the safest hands in the entire world, I would like to say. Because I had spoken to so many doctors globally and everybody said, you have the best team. So... No, no words uh, to express them. 
and again when we say this that you know organ transplant is very important i guess all those who wonder on this uh, the family also knows you know how painful it is you know to see see the patient you know see some family member going through the entire process and we should definitely i guess this is one of the biggest donations we can do as i rightly said that you know i still remember while my son say was not well while i was praying i i used to wonder what am i praying i'm basically asking for somebody's death so that is very tough you know but then as a mother that was something i could do i could pray for this so that's all i guess we must miss we must go for some transplant uh, this organ donation because that is something that will give a new ray of hope and life to somebody and again sir thank you so much thank you and i will definitely love to see him playing ipl and uh, we all sitting in the audience thank you so much thank you dr ravi it's been a great help all thank you and all the best to each one of us it's not just a journey of a patient it's the it's the entire family and we have an extended family here who's always there to take care of us so we will live happily and healthy thank you so much i'm dr ravi kumar any other uh, for experience we can raman bola jayenge na the raman is a very unique case he is one of the very sick patients who uh, was very sick in delhi then in a very emergency situation he has shift karna pada unko uske baad humko bhi pata nahi tha unka kya hoga kafi luckily god save us bro ho gaya to no thank you so much dr bala aaj हेलो आज ही के दिन मेरे हस्बैंड फोर्टीज में थे आज पूरा कंप्लीट वन ईयर हो गया आज ही के दिन हम फोर्टीज गए थे एक नॉर्मल हार्ट अटैक हुआ था सिंपली हम लेकर गए दिन फोर्टीज में हमें बताया कि इनकी बहुत ही क्रिटिकल सिचुएशन है तो एक हार्ट में क्लॉट है बाईपास करनी होगी हमने सोचा नॉर्मल बाईपास सर्जरी करनी है दैन सब ठीक हो जाएगा फोर्टीज में बाईपास सर्जरी हुई एट जून को ही कम्प्लीट एट जून हो गया आज कल नाइन जून है मेरे हस्बैंड का बर्थडे है तो एट जून को बाईपास सर्जरी कर दी दिन उन्होंने हमें बोला कि अब इनको एक्मो पे रखना पड़ेगा अब हमें तो नहीं पता था कि एक्मो क्या चीज़ है तो स्टेप बाय स्टेप दिन वहाँ पर बीतते रहे दस दिन से एक्मो पर रख रख दिया फिर लास्ट में उन्होंने बोला कि हम आपको हार्ट ट्रांसप्लांट के लिए रेफर करेंगे तो उन्होंने हमें एम जी एम के लिए बताया डॉक्टर बाला के लिए बताया डॉक्टर सुरेश राव सर के लिए बताया जो कि हमारे लिए एक भगवान बहुत मैं इनको लाइफ में कभी नहीं इतनी क्रिटिकल सिचुएशन मेरे हस्बैंड की इन्होंने स्टेबल करके दिए जो कि हमें लगा था कि अब हमारे हाथ से चले गए और हम इनसे मिलने गए आफ्टर ट्रांसप्लांट तो जब बिल्कुल ठीक हो गया हम इनसे मिलने गए तो इन्होंने हमें बताया कि हम मतलब ऐसे इनको भगवान से हम इनको छीन कर लाए हैं तो इट मीन्स ये हमारे लिए भी एक बहुत बड़े भगवान है थैंक यू सो मच डॉक्टर बाला थैंक यू सो मच डॉक्टर सुरेश राव पूरी टीम पूरा स्टाफ इतना हेल्पफुल इतना कॉपरेटिव थैंक यू सो मच एम हॉस्पिटल फॉर ऑल एम this uh, journey i mean we have done for me of four or five hundred heart transplant and for people who are experienced in this uh, cardiology line and you know, a heart transplant is comes in end so suppose you talk to 10 cardiologists here so they have many other treatments available for example parvati uh, she was one of the older patient 2014 or 15 so referred by my friend dr mantri so card for her it was like advanced heart failure heart problem is not improving so after one level then the cardiologist feels that now i cannot do anything so you go for transplant but yes cardiologist has that belief in the team in dr bala the team so then now she is fine and it needs of course a lot of post operative uh, close monitoring and you know scientific related uh, mummy ka transplant 2015 mein hua tha आठ साल हो चुके हैं और बहुत नेगेटिव थे बहुत पॉजिटिव भी थे हम कि बहुत रिश्तेदारों ने बोला कि कोई फ़ायदा नहीं है एज हो चुका है लेकिन हमारी तो माँ है हमने चार महीने रहे हैं वहाँ पे 
और बहुत इतना अच्छा प्यार मिला डॉक्टर इतने अच्छे हैं मेरे पापा है नहीं यही मेरे लिए मेरे बाप है मेरे भगवान है उन्होंने बहुत अच्छा ट्रीटमेंट किया और मम्मी बिल्कुल ठीक है मम्मी बिल्कुल ठीक है मैं मेरी वाइफ मेरा बेटा हरमन आज तेरह साल का हो चुका है जब वो पाँच साल का था हम जब उसकी पढ़ाई वढ़ाई सब छोड़ के यहाँ पे आ गए थे हम चार महीने रहे और बहुत मम्मी बहुत ठीक है और आठ साल हो गए मम्मी को और आज आप मैं डॉक्टर बाला डॉक्टर पूरी टीम का बहुत दिल से शुक्रिया अदा करना चाहती हूँ मेरी जिंदगी इन्होंने दिया है also is very important in the field that uh, the surgery and the pre surgery part critical part is important same time the post operative part and uh, follow up for a long time especially in a country like india because it is not united states where everything is set so in this connection i would uh, like to especially thank dr samir gupta and dr shahid marchand who are uh, our partner cardiologists they are working in two different cities so dr samir is in uh, Delhi, so he is also vice chairman of Metro Hospital. So he actually uh, also helps us for following up all patients in Delhi. Same way, Dr. Uh, Marchant in Mumbai. So the follow up of patients are extremely important in care transplant because it is not one day affair. So after that, so many problems, uh, potential problems can be seen by the uh, physician and which can be blocked, contract. So that is uh, the physician's role. Dr. Samir, what do you want to say? Just your general experience. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Ravi. I, you know, my name is Dr. Samir Gupta. I'm a cardiologist in Delhi. Um, I am the head of cardiology for the Metro Hospital and also at MP Heart Clinic in GK and uh, Umkal Hospital in Gurgaon. So I was initially associated with uh, the team and with the with Dr. Balakrishnan, Dr. Ravi, Dr. Rao. Uh, through chance, you know, it was just through a patient and through other network we got associated, and the work that they're doing is absolutely fantastic and phenomenal. You know, I I was exposed to a lot of heart transplants uh, when I was in the U.S. and I was living there and working there, and when I came back to India, it was not much. Not much was available. You know, all these end stage heart trans heart failure patients, they would just be on medical therapy. Um, there are other therapies available, but those are not very well versed in India, like LVAD and they're very expensive and stuff like that. But transplant is was 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 a big option over there. And when I came to India and I was exposed to this the the, the cutting edge work that they are doing, it was actually fantastic and phenomenal and very inspirational for a young doctor like me as well to be associated with them, to learn from them, to share knowledge, ideas, and experiences. And I, I think it's very important. For all of us over here who are either recipients or potential recipients or friends from the media, that you know that you've heard all these stories today, that transplant is a very viable option for patients. The only challenge is there are not enough donors available. So it's very important that all of us spread the message of donation. You know, many years ago my mother had told me she's like, "Beta, jab main jaungi na." मेरी बॉडी को जरा यू नो मेरी आंखों को मेरे हार्ट को मेरे से इसको कहीं डोनेट कर देना लेट इट बी यूज्ड फॉर समबडी एल्स लाइक द सर ओवर हियर बिफोर सेड यू नो आई थैंक द पर्सन हु गेव हिज हार्ट टू मी एंड दैट इज फैंटास्टिक राइट जस्ट इमेजिन दैट फादर और दैट मदर हु एवर्स इज हियर इज समर अराउंड द वर्ल्ड दे नो मेरे बच्चे का दिल किसी के और के दिल में धड़क रहा है इट्स सो कम्फर्टिंग फॉर दैम So I think that's very important that we spread the message and congratulations to everybody over here, Abad, Dr. Rao, Dr. Balakrishna, Ravi, for the phenomenal work that everybody is doing as a team. Thank you. And uh, Dr. Marchand, any like to say a few words before we go for some patient experience? So thank you, Dr. Bala, Dr. Ravi, and the whole Suresh Rao. for inviting me uh, uh, i'm from leelavati hospital mumbai uh, i'm the founder member of the hospital and uh, i have been associated with uh, dr bala uh, from 35 years because we studied in uh, km hospital worked in cbts uh, so 
uh, even at that time, I'm talking of 35 years ago, I used to look upon Dr. Bala as a genius because uh, he was above all of us uh, uh, during his uh, MCH days in cardiac surgery. So uh, I'm uh, very happy to be here today. Uh, we are uh, established an advanced heart failure clinic at Lilavati Hospital and uh, we are also running uh, heart failure clinics in Mumbai and uh, I thank uh, MGM Healthcare and the team of associating us and Mumbai uh, patients with advanced heart failure who travel to MGM Healthcare uh, for their heart transplant and many times a WAD program. Uh, thank you very much uh, the team and I'm uh, very proud to be part of the MGM Healthcare. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, Varnika, uh, would you like to add something to your experience? <laughs> um, hi, I'm Varnika and I'm 17. Um, I got my transplant in 2020 when I was 14 years old. Yeah, I think my mom would tell you my story a bit better. <laughs> Hello everyone. Um, it's a little, uh, you know, when you come here, like he could not speak Mirzabi. And I can really relate to you. She was six years when we got to know she had a cardiac myopathy. The first time she was in the hospital. 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 She and we Dr. Radha Krishnan who was here at the time. So, we took her at night at 8 o'clock. So, they said that we can't say anything. So, those words I have to say today, you said that you have to say that the ground is falling down the ground. That was the feeling of that time. I had friends, so I had them with a lot of effort. Eight so, you have to say that God you know, you can't do this to me now. So, uh, anyways, uh, Dr. Radha Krishnan did his best. She started treatment. Shuru kiya. She was breathless. And by the morning, she was stable. Heart function was just 5-10% that time. And still, we didn't know what's going to happen next. She uh, treatments We didn't know anything about it. I am sure Jobi, ne bhi, uh, Jobi, aap ne dekha hai. ECMO का नाम ये सब चीजें जाके तो चेन्नई में सुनिए तब तक हमने कुछ मालूम ही नहीं था बिकॉज़ जब तक हम फेस नहीं करते वी डोंट नो उन चीजों के बारे में फिर वो उसको रिवाइव किया 20% पे हार्ट आया फ्रैक्शन आया फिर डिस्चार्ज हुई पूरा साल वो घर पे थी उसके बाद धीरे-धीरे स्कूल वापस जाना शुरू किया एंड लाइफ नॉर्मल होने शुरू हुई स्लोली एंड ग्रेजुअली शी केम बैक टू 50% 2015 में अगेन उसका ड्रॉप हुआ फेलियर हुआ बट Symptoms नहीं आए, so we didn't know. Normal checkup के लिए गए और पता चला 32 percent पे आ गया वापस. And there was no symptom. Again उन्होंने treatment किया. Again she came back. फिर normal हुई. पर 2020 में जैसे ही lockdown लगा, जैसे हमारी ज़िंदगी को lockdown लग गया. It was like bad. Uh, lockdown है. हम doctor के पास जा नहीं सकते. Daily borders बंद है. We are staying in Gurgaon. And we could not move out. और उस बच्चे को लेके हम बैठे हमें नहीं पता हमें क्या करना है फोन पे जितना हम कर सकते हैं सिंस मार्च टिल अगस्त वो हार्ट फेलियर जो होता रहा इट वेंट डाउन टू 35 एवरी वीक इट वाज गोइंग डाउन एंड वी डिड नो व्हाट टू डू वी वेंट टू ऑल द डॉक्टर्स अगेन हम रात को इसको हॉस्पिटल ले जा रहे हैं शी कैन नॉट ब्रीथ सांस नहीं आ रहा है उसको वो सेबल करते हैं फिर सब वापस लेके आते हैं सुबह कभी 4 बजे कभी 6 बजे फिर दो दिन बाद फिर रात को पूरी पूरी रात सो नहीं पा रही आंखें बंद नहीं हो रही थिंग्स वेंट बैड रियल बैड आप सोच भी नहीं सकते और स्वेलिंग uh, शुरू हो गई लास्ट हमने इसको मैदानता में एडमिट किया फिर अपोल में सबने हमें बोल दिया कि ट्रांसप्लांट ही करना पड़ेगा देयर इज नथिंग लेफ्ट नाउ राधा कृष्णन जी के पास भी गए उन्होंने दोबारा एमआरआई किया सब कुछ बोला ही सेड दिस इज एंड ऑफ रोड फिर मैदानता uh, में uh, they told us that we should go to Dr. Vala and she was in Apollo 
एंड नथिंग वॉज हैपनिंग वी जस्ट कॉल डॉक्टर बाला कॉन्फ्रेंस कॉल में हमने उनसे बात करी माई हजबेंड वॉज टॉकिंग टू हेम एंड ही सेट जस्ट ब्रिंग हर है इज शी ऑन एनी सपोर्ट सिस्टम रिसेंट नहीं अभी तक कुछ नहीं है बट दे आर सेंग नाउ विल पुट हर ऑन वेंटिलेटर बिकॉज ब्रीदिंग इशू बहुत ज़्यादा हो जाता ही सेट यू ब्रिंग हर हेयर एयर लिफ्ट करके लाना है और ये सारी बातें हमें नहीं पता है एयर लिफ्ट होता है क्या होता है यू नो इट्स लाइक वॉट्स हैपनिंग आपको कुछ पता नहीं है एंड यू आर जस्ट गोइंग विद द फ्लो आई सर मैं वेंटिलेटर पर नहीं लगाऊंगी आई डोंट नो बाई माइंड में था वेंटिलेटर में जो जाएगा वो वापस नहीं आएगा सो इट वॉज क्रेजी टू डिसाइड कि क्या करना है चेन्नई कैसे जाए मेरा बेटा यहाँ है मेरी मदर इन लॉ है कि उनको अकेला कैसे छोड़ के जाए एंड जस्ट हमने बात करी शाम को पाँच बजे इन लोग की बात हुई वी डिसाइडेड फ्रॉम हॉस्पिटल ओनली वी वेट टू द एयरपोर्ट मैंने अपने सिटर बुलाया वहीं से सामान पैक हो के आया एंड वी एयर लिफ्टेड आउट टू चेन्नई एटीन सेप्टेम्बर रात को हम हॉस्पिटल पहुँचे एंड उसके बाद यू नो इट वॉज जस्ट गोइंग ऑन टू डेज लेटर मन वीकेंड पड़ गया था देवर शी वॉज ऑन मेडिकेशन इन आई सी यू मंडे दे चेक था बिकॉज शी हैड अ सीजर अटैक रात को दो ढाई बजे एंड वी वर लाइक पता नहीं क्या हुआ फिर मॉर्निंग में डॉक्टर सुरेश राव ने आके बोला वी हैव टू पुट अर ऑन बाय बाय टिल वी गेट अ डोन सो वी हैव टू ब्रिज बिटवीन हर सर्वाइवल ट्रांसप्लांट होने तक उसको रखना है हार्ट काम नहीं कर रहा है वॉट यू से वी वर ट्रस्टिंग दैम वी लेफ्ट एवरी थिंग ऑन दैम कि आपको जो ठीक लगता है आप करो सो so, दो दिन बाद में उसका बायोवेड लगा ओपन हार्ट हो गया एंड माई थिंग वॉज कि अभी एक बार सर्जरी हो रही है फिर दोबारा होनी है और मैं गॉड को प्रे करूँ कि इसी में ठीक हो जाए <laughs> दोबारा ना हो सो यू नो एज अ मदर आप नहीं चाहते चाहे वाइफ हो चाहे मदर हो कि दोबारा दोबारा ये चीज़ें आप नहीं देखना चाहते साढ़े तीन महीने हम भी वहाँ थे शी वॉज इन हॉस्पिटल फॉर ऑलमोस्ट थ्री मंथ्स एंड वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द टीम आप सब बोल चुके हैं दे वर्ड इट सो मेनी टाइम्स आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू की बट आई हैव नेवर सीन एनी बडी लाइक दैट इन नॉर्थ मैं यहीं आई बॉर्न हेयर आई ब्रॉटन हेयर बट जो एक्सपीरियंस हमें चेन्नई में हुआ है डॉक्टर्स का पूरी टीम का पूरे हॉस्पिटल का आई मीन वेदर इट वॉज एग्जैक्टली लाइक सिस्टर्स हैं चाहे चाहे वहाँ का स्टाफ है एडमिन स्टाफ है इवन दिस यूर डॉक्टर मिस्टर हरीश इज नॉट हेयर टूडे एवरी बडी आई मीन इट वॉज लाइक अ फैमिली लग ही नहीं रहता कि हम अकेले या जान शहर में हम हमें कि हम और हम हॉस्पिटल में ही रहते थे चारों महीने साढ़े तीन महीने वहाँ वेटिंग रूम में ही सोते थे वहीं रहते थे बिकॉज छोड़ने की हिम्मत नहीं थी एंड एवरी डे वी टू वेट फॉर दैम टू कम एंड आज दैम इश यू ऑल राइट वो ठीक है वो सो रही है वो जाग रही है बिकॉज वो पहले बाय बैट पर थी और बाई गॉड्स ग्रेस दस दिन बाद डोना मिला वी गॉट अ हार्ट आई मस्ट शेयर दैट ऑल्सो जब हार्ट मिला तो इट केम फ्रॉम सूरत एंड वी गॉट टू नो दैट बिकॉज शी वॉज क्रिटिकल ये डायलिसिस पे भी थी ये एक्मो पे भी थी और ये वेंटिलेटर पे भी थी सारे बॉडी ऑर्गन्स जा चुके थे सो दे फॉट फॉर दैट ऑर्गन कि वो वर्णिका को मिले बिकॉज इससे दो जो पहले वेटिंग होती थी तो दे वर फाइटिंग की वो ऑर्गन वर्णिका को मिले बिकॉज हाउ लॉन्ग शी इज गोइंग टू बी ऑन मशीन एंड बाई वेड लगा हुआ है एंड वी वर लाइक आई कैन नॉट बी ग्रेटफुल इनफ बट ओनली थिंग विच गॉट स्टार्ट वॉज वेन वी गॉट टू डोनर एंड वी हैड टू साइन द फॉर्म यू रिमेंबर सर एंड आई वॉज लाइक वो थोड़ा सा आई थिंक हाइपर टेंशन पेशेंट था सो एज ए बच्चा छोटा है आई डोंट नो कि शुड आई टेक इट और नॉट एंड आई हैव नो ऑप्शन और हम बैठे हैं और वो हम फॉर्म साइन करना है एंड दे वाला स्टैंडिंग वेटिंग कि आप साइन करो तो हम उसको लेके जाएं फिर हमने डॉक्टर बाला को कॉल किया आई सेट माई हजबेंड आस्क हिम वी कॉल हिम इज सेट प्लीज गो हेड बस उनके वर्ड सुन के आई साइन द फॉर्म कांपते हुए हाथों से किया था बट आई हैड नो ऑप्शन एंड टूडे शी इज हेयर ऑल हेल्दी एंड फाइन शी लीडिंग अ नॉर्मल लाइफ येस देर आर लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स बिकॉज इतना कुछ हो चुका था तो रिकवरी में टाइम लगा उसको बट शी इज़ फाइन नाउ कम्प्लीटली एंड शी हैज पास स्कूल ट्वेल्थ ग्रेड अभी ख़त्म किया कॉलेज जाएगी एंड इट्स अ बिग थिंग यू नो इट्स अ बिग अचीवमेंट मे दी आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड योर कंसर्न ऑल्सो बट आई वुड जस्ट सजेस्ट कि डोंट थिंक अबाउट फ्यूचर नाउ 
जो टाइम है जस्ट लिव इट बिकॉज यू कैन डू मच अबाउट इट है ना तो ये टाइम है आता है दिमाग में मतलब आई के नॉट फोगेट चिन्ह जर्नी बट द काइंड ऑफ लव एंड अफेक्शन यू सी देयर इट मेड इट मच ईजियर फॉर यू टू बी देयर दो मैं भी सारा दिन रोती रहती थी प्रेयर करती रहती थी इन लोग को परेशान करती रहती थी और अभी भी एज यू सेट एनी मैसेज यू सेंड दैम रिपोर्ट्स भेजो चाहे कोई भी कंसर्न भेजो यू गेट द रिप्लाई इमीजिएटली कोई भी आवर हो इनिशियली जब वापस आए थे कुछ थोड़ा बहुत हमें प्रॉब्लम्स आए थे तो आप हर छोटी चीज़ के लिए भी डरते हो क्या करना है पेट दर्द हो रहा है क्या करना है ये करना है तो अभी भी हम पूछते हैं तो वी गेट द रिस्पॉन्स इमीजिएटली चाहे अगर आई इवन इफ आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू वेट फॉर रिस्पॉन्स आई कॉल एंड आई एम श्योर दे आई एम नॉट एक्सपीरियंस दैट दे नॉट पिक अप द फोन so it's been a great great help and great journey and i really cannot thank you enough all of you dr jinder has been there for looking after her lungs of course i should not forget that and dr sami we will be definitely getting in touch with you because we are in gurgaon now <laughs> so uh, but i'm sure uh, i think sab transplant patients hain yahan pe sabki apni apni journey rahi hai we have also gone through that big hell but uh, i think now it's just that we keep praying for a healthy happy life throughout jab tak jitni bhi hai zindagi wo to kisi ki bhi pata nahi hai and yes i really want us to get together for the awareness program north mein nahi hai north mein actually doras nahi and when we were here sab jagah se we went to sardarjan we went to aims we and everywhere they said don't even come sab band hai और डोनर्स है ही नहीं बिकॉज कोविड पीक कोविड था उस टाइम वहाँ एम जी एम में भी पूरे लंग्स पेशेंट्स भरे हुए थे यू नंबर डॉक्टर जनरल पोस्ट कोविड फॉर ट्रांसप्लांट मतलब आई से गॉट ब्लेस एवरी वन बट इट वॉज हेल्थ दैट टाइम एंड दीज पीपल वर ऑन देयर फीट डे एंड नाइट वी हैव सीन आई मीन इन माई आई सी यू देर वर इलेवन पेशेंट्स जिसमें आई थिंक दो या तीन हार्ट के थे बाकी सारे लंग्स के थे so i used to see them and i used to just pray bhagwan <laughs> sabko healthy rakhe so uh, it's difficult to get out of that is a miracle and dr balakrishnan ke words hai in sab ke liye bhi ek ye tha ki it's a miracle that you know what has happened with her aur ye sab ho gaya transplant ho gaya revive karne mein time laga but then she revived and then she revived very fast fir hum मतलब यू नो यू फॉर गेट अबाउट दोज थिंग्स बट यस वी एन्जॉय हर हेलोसिनेशन टॉक्स जो उसको उस टाइम जो मेडिसिन चली थी तो इसकी इतनी सारी हेलोसिनेशन हैं जो ये बताती रहती है और हंसती रहती है खुद भी इसको इतनी हंसी आती सोच के और हम सोचते रहते हैं कि यू नो क्या थाट प्रोसेस चलता है वो उसको बच्चे को भी नहीं पता है बच्चे तो छोटे उनको मालूम भी नहीं है उसके साथ क्या हो रहा है उसको ये भी नहीं पता जब ये बी एम टी में ट्रांसफर हुई थी फ्रॉम द आई सी यू then we told her ki aapka transplant hua till then and she is saying transplant kya hota hai and i'm like okay ab <laughs> kaise bataye bachche ko ki dare nahi ho ki kya hua hai mere sath but then she took it well or yes will power is very important it is agar hum himmat chhod denge ab ye to bachcha hai na but being a elder you have to be strong to usko to pata hi nahi kya ho raha hai theek hai ho raha hai takleef ho rahi hai वो बता भी नहीं सकती है बिकॉज वेंटिलेटर है फैक्ट्रिस्टिकॉसमी लगी बिकॉज एवरी टाइम एवरी स्टेज अब ये ठीक हो जाएगी अब ये निकल जाएगा बट वी वाई अब नेक्स्ट क्या अब नेक्स्ट क्या टिल शी गॉट आउट द आई सी यू सो आई वुड जस्ट से गॉड इज देयर एंड दीज आर गॉड्स एंड पीपल भगवान के भेजे हुए हैं सो आई वुड रियली थैंक टू यू ऑल अगेन एंड प्लीज कीप अप द गुड वर्क एंड गॉड ब्लेस यू विद गॉड एंड यू लाइफ So that is not there for more people. Thank you. And but we should do a awareness program together. Yeah. Thank you, sir.